Well, you know what? It is another week. Another new rival is emerging on Britain's Got Talent for Scottish singing sensation Susan Boyle. We're going to talk with 10-year-old Holly Steele in just a moment. But first, her story from NBC's Stephanie Gosk. Look out, Susan Boyle. There's a new kid in town. She's only four feet tall and 10 years old, but Holly Steele can really belt it out. I her performance of I Could Have Danced All Night from My Fair Lady brought the audience to their feet and the judges to attention. It's just ridiculous how much talent you have. Steele says she's bullied at school and suffers shortness of breath from an early childhood sickness. But one wouldn't know. Still, the scene on Britain's Got Talent looked oddly familiar. Shocked expressions, crad adulation. Much like the reaction to Susan Boyle, the 48-year-old phenom that shocked the world. A new video clip from her past shows just how naturally talented she is. The ever-critical Simon Cowell says Steele has a fantastic voice too, but the young singer didn't escape criticism altogether. I didn't like what you were wearing because she came over as just a typical little girl who wants to be a ballerina. Cowell took a swipe at Susan Boyle this week as well, after she turned up with a new hairdo and plucked eyebrows. In an interview in California, he offered her some advice. It could all go horribly wrong, he said. Focus yourself, shut the front door, come back the person you want to be and not as the person you think you should be. One British tabloid says the pressure of overnight fame is taking its toll. Of course, making Susan Boyle appear vulnerable helps set the stage for a dramatic competition. Having a runaway favorite does not make very good reality TV, but a face-off between young and old, cute and quirky, certainly does. For today, Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, London. Holly Steele is with us from London. Holly, good morning and congratulations. Thank you. Tell me what it was like up on that stage in front of all those people. You didn't look nervous, were you? I was a bit nervous at the beginning, but then after I did it, um, I was much more comfortable. Yeah, well at the beginning when you came out in your tutu, Simon didn't seem very impressed at all, and then you began to sing, and he and the rest of the judges' mouths came wide open and just in shock at the power of your voice. <laughs> so you proved him wrong, didn't you? Yeah. What was it like for you, sweetie, afterwards when they were talking about your performance and your standing there? Was it a dream come true for you? Um, yeah, it kind of did, but um, for a dream to come true, it would be to like, win Britain's Got Talent. Let me... You must have been working very, very hard to get to this point. Do you practice singing every day? Yeah. <laughs> Every day for half an hour. Every day for half an hour. So when Simon said to you, he said he loved your voice, he didn't love the outfit, and he didn't love the song selection, yeah. was that hard for you to hear? Um, just a little bit, but um, I got over it because it's just my clothes, because my mum picked them. And uh, I like the song, but oh well. Oh, that's you didn't pick the tutu then, it was your mom's idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can blame her. So, you know, you, uh, we just mentioned the piece before you came on here that you've been bullied as a kid. Why, why do kids bully you? Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they bully me, but... So what do you want to say to them now? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Well, since you've been on the show on Saturday, have, have you been getting phone calls from these kids? Kids now suddenly want to be your best friend? No, because they don't know my number, so they weren't <laughs> calling me or anything. Well, they'll probably see you in school. They'll have a lot to say to you. You have more uh, performances coming up. And are, are you going to take Simon's words <laughs> to heart? Are you going to dress a little differently and song selection maybe a little different? Do you know what you're going to do next time? Yeah, I'm going to do what Simon said. Which is? Um, change my outfit because um, it didn't line my ballet outfit. So I'm going to pick a nice dress. And I might, I don't know, but I might drop the dancing like he said. Drop your dancing. Do you have a, st a song picked out as well? Um, I don't know what songs I'm singing, but, you know. <laughs> 
And Susan Boyle, you know, she's the competition. We know a lot about her over here. What do you think of her? She's really good this season, and I hope I'm as good as her. Well, so far, I think everybody's saying you are terrific, Holly Steele. We wish you the very best of luck, and thanks for talking to us this morning. Thank you. You're welcome.